Welcome to Family Gamer TV and everything families need to know about Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. From what to watch out for to what players love, here is the ultimate two minute guide. Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush, otherwise known as Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, is a 2D platform game for the Wii U. The main player uses the gamepad's touchscreen to draw rainbow ropes and Kirby rolls along them in whatever direction they're drawn. A loop of rope increases Kirby's speed as does tapping on him. The ropes can also be used to block off enemies or obstacles. Kirby is a long-standing Nintendo character known for his ability to vacuum up enemies and absorb their abilities. In this game, Kirby is able to turn into a vehicle, a rocket, a submarine, or tank. Players can also sometimes use Amiibo, Kirby, King DDD, and Meta Knight to give Kirby extra abilities. Up to three players can join in, controlling characters called Waddle Dees with Wii Remotes or Wii U Pro Controllers. The Waddle Dees can run along the rainbow ropes, pick up items, attack enemies, and even pick up Kirby. Other 2D platforming games for the Wii U include Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and New Super Mario Bros. U, though they don't feature a similar drawing mechanic. Kirby Power Paintbrush, otherwise known as Kirby Canvas Curse, offered a similar touch platforming mechanic on the original DS. Developer HAL Laboratory created Kirby and is also responsible for the Super Smash Bros. games. Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush is only available for Wii U for around £30 or $40. Amiibos cost around £15 or $20. Those compatible with this game are Kirby, King DDD, and Meta Knight. The campaign should take no longer than six hours to complete and is easy enough for young children with some experience with platformers, especially if they have a parent playing along in co-op. When playing in co-op, players need to work together to ensure no one gets left behind. In the UK and Europe, Peggy rates the game as appropriate for those aged three and older. As with all asymmetrical multiplayer games, children may argue over who gets to play as what character, especially as the player controlling Kirby gets to draw on the gamepad screen, but the other characters have more freedom of movement, more like traditional platforming characters. Kirby has been around for more than 20 years, so fans of the character will be glad of a new game in the series. The colourful clay aesthetic is an interesting stylistic choice, and combined with the soundtrack creates an experience more upbeat than some other games. Even for Wii U owners who haven't played a Kirby game before, however, Rainbow Paintbrush should appeal for the way it uses the gamepad touchscreen, a feature that sets the Wii U apart. Thanks for watching our two minute guide to Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. Let us know what you think about the highs and lows of the game in the comments, and if this is your first Family Gamer TV video, subscribe for more family guides, which we'll be bringing to you soon.